Today's in September are for high school football, but the stadium lights are dark tonight for one local team. Hazing shut down the program and cost the coach his job. That part has some of the players who were not involved throwing a flag. Here's Alexa Helwig. The stands are empty and the lights are out. The football team won't be on the field tonight, but some of its players aren't far away. They are just across the street hoping their coach gets justice. Mitchell Whitson is a senior on the West High football team. His Friday night looks different this week. He's on the sideline. His priority has shifted from winning games to winning back his coach. This definitely situation doesn't re represent everybody and it doesn't represent him at all. Cincinnati police are now involved in the investigation of a hazing situation. They say a player on the team was forced to strip until he was exposed. And there's video of it. It was shared on social media. The whole situation cost head coach Armand Tatum his job. I feel like he shouldn't be like held accountable for any of this because like the students that did it, you know, they got their punishment. I feel like he shouldn't get a punishment for this. Senior Joshua Andrew stood next to Whitson holding a sign that read justice for coach. It's their last year to play and they don't know when their season will start again. But getting back on the field is not their priority. I do care about the football team and I, I want to get on the field soon as soon as I can, but I want to make sure Coach Tatum gets justice first. We got to do what's best to get him, you know, we can't do it at none without him either. He's an unreplaceable head coach. A head coach both say did a lot for the program on and off the field. It kind of seems like he's like all of our like second dad, you know, if you think of that, like he always mentor us and make sure we like doing good. He just shows a lot of pride in what he does and I, and I want to resemble that when I get older. In West Price Hill, Alexa Helwig, Local 12 News. The Cincinnati Police Department is investigating this and criminal charges are possible. That includes those who took part and those who shared the video.